All right, hey everybody. Uh, today's episode, we're gonna be trying out coffee. Now, pilots love coffee. I hear some pilots don't. It's kind of weird. So we're gonna try out uh, Black Rifle Coffee Company. I've been, uh, I've been a part of their subscription program uh, for about a month. Uh, now, Black Rifle Coffee Company is not paying me. I'm not endorsed by them in any way. This is, the, uh, this is a true uh, kind of review of their coffee. So far, I've loved it. Um, I've got here in uh, the box, they just sent a new one, uh, the AK blend, which I hear is pretty awesome from uh, some of my buddies who, uh, who have been uh, trying it. So I figure, hey, let's try it together. I get to it first, I got you mad. I guess that when I get to it last, get it that I'm never going back. Get it that I'm never going back. Going up, going up, going up, going up, going up, going up. Get it that I'm never going up, going up. All right, uh, the first thing you're gonna wanna get is one of these coffee mills. I used to use a, uh, a coffee blender, something like this. Um, I have been told that this is probably not the, the most efficient way to grind up your coffee and it's you know from the super, super coffee people. They have said, uh, this isn't a good deal. So they said to buy a mill, I did. Uh, this is a uh, Krups. You find that on Amazon. Uh, I can't remember what I paid for it. Maybe like 40 bucks or something like that. Not too expensive. Um, but uh, they say milling the coffee grounds is uh, much better for the coffee. It produces a, a more flavor for coffee. Okay, and the one thing we haven't done yet that we need to do is actually open the bag because that's the, the best part about it. So when you get that first smell of the coffee beans, Man, that honestly, that smells, smells amazing. Um, wow. So I can't wait to drink it. All right, so this part, we're just uh, warming up the water. Um, I have the ability to warm it up to about uh, 200 degrees. Um, a lot of the kettles they have make nowadays have temperature gauges on there on depending on if you're making tea or coffee. Um, so I just warm mine up to uh, a French press setting. 200 degrees comes up, and I pour it in there. All right, now we got the coffee grinds ready to go. Uh, what I'm doing is just gonna be me. I'll probably have two cups of coffee today. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scoop in three, you can see it's highly accurate, three teaspoons of coffee in there and I'm gonna put uh, four cups of water through it. That really gives me about two cups of coffee is what I find. That ratio of three teaspoons to uh, four cups of water tends to be my like sweet spot. So everybody's different, uh, figure it out. Uh, find out what you like and uh, do your thing. It even smells really awesome just pouring the water into it. All right, that's about done there. So let's pour this coffee and drink it. All right, moment of truth. Wow, that's good. You know, honestly, I probably could have put one more uh, teaspoon of coffee in there. And that's just my, my ratio. It's a little light, but uh, I think one more scoop, uh, that's gonna be uh, the sweet spot for that one. It's good though, the flavor is really good. So uh, I think overall, good coffee. Um, it is uh, some of my friend's favorite coffees. So uh, the, the AK Espresso blend. But uh, I'm gonna mess around with it. You know, everybody's different. So uh, I'm probably gonna put a couple more scoops in there and uh, just kind of mess with the ratios. But uh, overall, uh, I think it's good. Uh, give it a shot. Black Rifle Coffee Company. Again, I'm not sponsored by them. They're not paying me for anything, but um, I do like the company and uh, their coffee is really good. So try it out.
All right, guys. Hey, just a, a quick one today. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope you guys are staying healthy out there. And we'll see you again on another video. Take care. The AK blend, which I hear is, whoops.